Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Deck Tech. I am Dell, and I have a bit of a somber one today, a little sad. Uh, going through my collection, and I realize I still had this deck around. I thought I took it apart at least a couple years ago. Uh, my crew fix deck. Give a little zoom while we're here. Uh, deck I used to love to play. I don't think I've played it in at least three or four years. I honestly thought I took it apart. Got a nice foil here from the original, uh, was that Theros? Born of the Gods? I can't remember. But, uh, just, uh, didn't have fun with it anymore. So, I'm just gonna run through it, just kind of show it off a little bit before I officially take it apart. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go through it. So the main theme of it was originally, uh, his ability to have no maximum hand size, and letting my mana pull up, become colorless instead of emptying from pools. Move the camera a little bit. So I had a sub theme of hydras. So I go through some of the hydras I had. Uh, it wasn't by any means good. It wasn't by any means competitive. Uh, I think the only time I really won with this deck, and I actually have it over here, I had this card in it. Back whenever they had the unsets legal in Commander, and it was a lot of fun rolling that many dice. But I think since taking that one out, really haven't really done much with it. Usually, there's a lot of removal, a lot of ways to get rid of my stuff that really didn't help anything. So, end of the day, take it apart. But I'm gonna go through it, kind of break down what this deck did. Have a fun little memory of it. And if I ever want to rebuild it, I got most of the cards listed here. I don't know. I guess it's more for me than anybody watching, but I got a Hung Hydra. <laughs> Hungering Hydra. Yeah, no, no surprise, you're just going to make a bunch of colorless mana and then play some big boys, but. So, uh, man, this probably was worth something back when I first got it. I think I pulled it in the pack, but now it's probably not worth as much. Great for card draw. Great little Hydra guy. Uh, Primordial Hydra, also just a real big beater. Turtle Hydra here, Steel Bane. Had a good uh, artifact enchantment removal, which was pretty good. I, I think I might like build a turtle deck. I, I like a lot of the turtles in this set, but. Yeah. Battle Bond, right? This might have been one of the last cards I actually have. I'm trying to think. There's some newer cards in here that I've been adding. I'm trying to think what else is really in here. I have it kind of separate, but I think there are newer cards that I tried adding and just uh, just gave up. I really don't have to say too much about this, but you can see all these how just do specific things, come with real big beaters. I have some other abilities, but it wasn't by any, any stretch of the word a Hydra typo deck or theme. It was just, I have a, more Hydras than anything else in here. And I just build up mana and play real big guy and then not be able to do anything because they don't really do much besides that. Just kind of letting you guys read these news. There's not really much to say on this section as far as what I'm doing. You know, yeah, walking ballista. Probably besides this and the Alter Ego, because Alter Ego is not a uh, technically anything but a shapeshifter. But the walking ballista also is not technically a Hydra, but you're going to have that much mana, why not do something with this guy? But That's the big beaters, and those all drowsy. I kind of want to stay away from that. And the day just wasn't really doing much for me to want to keep it. You'll see here, I got a bunch of, I don't want to call this like the weenies or mana dorks group, but this is pretty much what these are. You'll see, uh, I'm tapping a land to make some more mana, playing land with a lotus cub, or making a little bit of mana. Uh, this put a little bit of work so I can draw some cards. Also making mana. Uh, Paradise Druid making mana. Uh, additional land each of my turns. All basic types. Again, just trying to get more lands out. Mana Dork. Additional land. Mana Dork technically. Mana Dork. Boring Clex doubling mana and all that. Land War Wells. Mana Dork. I'm tapping all permanents. Again, this is probably a auto include. You know, if Prophet of Crufix wasn't banned, next best thing, right? Just make a man each turn and let it become colorless and 
just piling it up and doing pretty much nothing with it, right? This stuff keeps falling over over there. Mana Dork, one of my favorite Mana Dorks. Uh, this might end up being a deck someday. I like, I like this card, Rick Smithies. Rick Smithies? Rick Smiths? Whatever. Uh, does some stuff. Mana Dork. Mana Dork. Mana Dork. Mana Dork. And Mana Dork. So a bunch of creatures making mana to do shenanigans with. I think this next part is just all the rest of my creatures. Uh, plus ones, of course, with the Hydras. Give them my creatures with plus one, plus one Shroud. That's one of my favorite cards. I love this card. Think about this. Again, not having Profit of Career Fix, the next best thing you can do is have this guy too. And each um, on top of stuff, I get the retap everything. I just have probably the best card in the deck to have all that mana with is to scry and just do stuff with that ability. Just pump a bunch of mana in that. Uh, Deep Glow Skate, double on my plus ones. Uh, I also forget that it says it in English, but with that name, but X green green, you can animate a land, becomes an elemental creature, it's also a land. Creature plus one plus one cards can't be blocked. Thought this would do more work, but I don't think I honestly ever played this card in a game. It was in there, no one was in there so I could actually swing out, but never actually pulling it. Uh, this also didn't get to do much work. I think if there's another card that does the same ability, but I got to do a little more with it. I'll go talk about that when I get to it. Uh, get my plus one, plus one creatures. Trample. Uh, Euro. Again, a little bit of mana ramp there. Uh, again, more recent of a card. No, it's still about three year old. It's not that new. That's probably about the last time I actually tried playing it. Next Bloom Ancient. Probably about the same time. Same set, actually. Again, mana producing. Extra lands. Uh, plus one, plus one counters instead of damage, which is nice. Keenan. It's a pretty good ability, but they didn't get to do much with him either. Uh, doubling your tokens. Okay, here's the other one. I was, this one I usually saw where this can't be countered and my creature spells can't be countered. It's also very useful when you're trying to dump all your mana into something you, good, try to end the game, and then you know, gets around counter spells. Uh, I just really like this card. Doesn't really do anything too crazy, but a little bit, little bit extra mana there if you could. And Oracle of Maldaya, same thing. Extra lands. I only got to explain much on that. Uh, next little packet here, I think, is my enchantments. First couple are also mana production. You know, extra mana. Again, this is really good if you're building a crew fix deck. Uh, every end step you untap your lands, you can tap them again in response, make some more mana. Unblown Flourishing. I'll let you guys read that. Also very good for a Hydra deck. Had to include that. Again, Awakening. Same thing. Get to untap stuff to make mana, never empties out. Uh, gets the additional mana for creatures. You know, mana dorks. But also has you dump a bunch of mana to actually put plus and plus ones on all your creatures. Doubling season, of course. Doubling anything you put onto stuff. I don't know why this is really in there. Most of the creatures would make mana anyway, but I had it just, I guess, if I had something, I don't know. It's good if you have a bunch of tokens, let's say that. It's in there, should have been cut. I'm not going to explain myself further than that. And then, of course, the instance, we're moving plus one, plus ones around. Doubling, moving, rather. This is also good if you have doubling season on. When you move them, it doubles the tokens when you move them. It's pretty good. Uh, two artifacts. One contended soul ring. It's not in every one of my decks, but it's in enough of them. And every once in a while, people bring up banning soul ring. I'm like, I don't see this being that broken. It goes in every deck. If you don't like it, don't play it. But it's no reason to bitch about it when you see it. it says the guy. I'm, so I'm saying that I have videos where I bitch about cards I don't like. But great henge. A little mana rock, plus ones, all that jazz. Makes it cost a lot less because uh, 
you know, I'm gonna have something big out usually. Never actually got to play this. It's in the deck, never actually played it. We're winding down now. The lands, Raining Pool, Temple Mastery, Flooded Grove, uh, Botanical something, I forget what this does. <laughs> Hinterland Harbor, Summit Growth Chamber, Yavimawa Coast. Those are all your blue-green sources. Got your search land packet here. We're playing a lot of basics, so it's nice to have Terramorphic Expanse and expo uh, Evolving Wilds. Uh, this is good with my little elves to make man, especially the big guy there, which I'm already drawing a blank on the name and going back to look. So what I do without having any rehearsal. This is pretty useful for doing back and forth with this. You can make a ton of mana with this, which is fun. Karn's Bastion, proliferating, maximum hand size, which kind of goes with prefix there. Unblockable, Flash, and then Ancient Tomb and Temple of the False Gods. Speaking of complaining about cards I don't like, I still play it once in a while. This deck actually does pretty good work where I'm going to usually have enough lands for this to actually work. And this one, I just, I just need to take. This is one of the big cards I've been looking at. I need a copy of this, and I have one here. It just makes me mad. I'm like, oh man, it's been hiding under my nose the whole time, you know? And of course, showing off my basics for the deck. I went with a white bordered theme. I don't think I have any, I was going to say, I don't think I have any duplicated art. And it looks like I did not lie. Just, well... They look very similar in some of these, but uh, I try not to do duplicated art unless I really want to. And most often than not, more often than not, is that the better way to say it? I'll pick a bunch of different arts. But that's the deck. Like I said, it was a little pet project I worked on some time ago. I can't even remember if I pulled a foil of this guy or traded for it. I just liked the way it looked. I don't know if it picks up on camera too great. But it's like a fun ability to build around, and I, I built it, and then never really did much with it. Like, I have some cards in my sideboard here. I don't call it sideboard, just, I don't say, like, this kind of stuff where you can win just for having plus ones. Never like to win that way. What else have I got? I got a Turtle Hydra, so some card draw. Nile has an intervention. I forget what this says in English, but Tap of Forest, Mana Dork, Grand the Lonely King, just a thing to dump mana into, the Bounty of the Luxa. I actually, this was cut for something, I can't remember what, I actually really like this card in this deck where uh, you put a Flood Counter and draw a card, but then you can add three mana to your mana pool, which I don't care if I use or not because Corfix just makes it you know, go away. Lorthos, which I might come back to another day building around that. Uh, another little piece of tech if you're going to build something like this is pretty useful. A little Zamic Guild Mage here too. A Burden Zone which never really made into the deck as well. But I do have something else before we end. Where'd it go? There we go. This used to be in there too but I cut it for something. Uh, Hedana's Climb. Where it's one of those flips where you know if you have enough puzzle plus ones on it, A it turns into a cool land and it does some stuff. So got caught for something, I don't remember what. This probably would have been a better video if I rehearsed this at all, but I just wanted to do something quick to have some content and also to talk to you guys a bit and uh, kind of show off my little baby before I send it off to college. So we're gonna is that we're gonna say uh I didn't want to just take it apart without a little bit of a send-off. I think I have the deck list online. I'll post that in the com in our, the description, rather. And, uh... Maybe, maybe I'll do a follow-up. I, I know my Grenzo deck has changed enough since I made the last, uh... Well, I made a deck tech about that video where I might as well just do another video on that as well because it is a completely different deck now. I've changed enough that I think I might have talked about it in the video where... I said, well, there's a lot of cards I want to take out and a lot of new cards I want to put in. And since the uh, Lord of the Rings said there is a few of those in there too, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I want to thank you guys for watching. 
if you got this far, you know, like and subscribe, all that jazz. I don't like saying it, but I got, I think at the time of recording, a 60 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I might record another one today. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see what we got. Went to the grocery store, found some set boosters out in the wild. So I'm going to record a little, uh, little pack opening after this. Why not? So, till next time, love you.